So in this video we're going to cover example 2 which is all about cumulative frequency graphs. And here we have the height of 20 basketball players recorded in the table below. And question A says represent this data using a cumulative frequency histogram and polygon. And just a little side note, a cumulative frequency polygon is also known as an ogive. And an ogive is something that is very useful when you want to calculate median, which is what question B is about. Now, if we were just looking at the table here and I said to calculate the median, you would have a lot of trouble. And the reason being is when you look at it, you can see that the smallest height is between 170 to 174 centimeters, and the taller players are between 190 and 194 centimeters. Most of the players are here in the middle row between 180 to 184 centimeters and I imagine that the median would lie somewhere in this row. The problem being we don't know the exact median height. We know that it would be around about between 180 to 184 centimeters. So let's construct the graph and then we'll you'll see how we can find an exact uh, median height from our graph. Now I'm just going to rub this out and create some room. First thing I need is what is called a cumulative frequency column and I'm just going to write it ho uh, shorthand cumulative frequency and in case you've forgotten cumulative frequency just means to accumulate so our scores are going to uh, uh, sorry our frequency will accumulate here we we put a 2 then 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 7 12 12 plus 5 17 and 17 plus 3 20 and what is positive here is we finished on 20 we want that because we know we have 20 basketball players okay so now we want to construct the cumulative frequency histogram and we'll use our class centers each time so our class center is 172 our next class center is 177 182 187 and 192. So we've got a couple of points left over and, and that's fine. All right, so what we need to do now is draw our, our bars going up to a certain frequency. Now you'll notice that the frequency goes up to 20 and I think if I go in twos, that will reach 20 up the top. Let's see how we go, zero, two, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So I'm going to insert some rectangles here. Um, I know that the 172 should go up to a height of 2, and it should be a width where it goes halfway on either side of the 172. I'm going to pause and finish off the graph and then I'm going to talk about it some more. All right, so I've put in my my bars and I've made my cumulative frequency histogram. And you'll notice that this time they their heights are not based on the frequency, they're based on the cumulative frequency. So we've got 2, 5, 12, 2, 5, 12, uh, height of 17 and, and then 20. They're not the most accurate, it's a little hard with the program I have to draw the the bars accurately but I expect you to be more accurate than me. Uh, just like last time you there's no gaps between the bars there is a half gap at the beginning but when you do cumulative frequency graphs you actually don't have to have the half gap at the beginning and you'll soon see why when we do our cumulative frequency polygon. So the cumulative frequency polygon is different because this time it goes from the uh, the bottom corner to the top corner of each bar like so and for some reason the lines disappearing right now there we go there we go and you'll notice last time we did it where it went right to the middle this time it goes from one corner to the next like so and the reason we don't need the half gap for this one is last time the line started at the zero 
and this time it started on the corner of of the bar so it is okay to not have a half gap for a cumulative frequency graph now i mentioned earlier about question b where this can be useful for calculating the median and all we need to do to calculate the median now i'll pick a different color is if we've got a frequency of 20 the median would lie um, at the tenth number or the the middle point right which means if we go across from the 10 and hit the red line and then come down we will get to see what our median is we'll get an exact value or, or at least an estimate anyway um, so here's 182 and here's 187 so um, I would say that's about uh, 184 185 so I'm going to say that my median's 184 centimeters. And and that's the end of this lesson.